In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Google for Google Analytics for WordPress plugin. It's one of my favorite plugins where you can easily hook up Google Analytics so that you can track your stats. Let's go ahead and do that now. So we'll go over to plugins and add a new plugin. You can search Google Analytics for WordPress is the full title, or we can upload it. So you can search on wordpress.org in the plugin section and find this one, Google Analytics for WordPress, and download it. And I've already done that, so I will choose the file over here and install it. And now I'll activate the plugin and it will ask me to hook it up with Google Analytics. Also, it is going to ask me if it'll allow me to uh, allow it to use it for tracking so that it the developer knows how I'm using the plugin. It doesn't actually take your personal information. So I'll go ahead and allow that. Now it's giving me this message that it's not active. I need to select which profile to track. So I'll go over and click on that. I can also get to that by going to Settings, Google Analytics. Now I have a couple options to uh, hook this up with my Analytics account. I can either authenticate with Google so that it will log in with my Google account, or I can manually enter my UA code. I, the UA code is your tracking code, not the full code that Google Analytics gives you, but just the identifier for which site you are. So if you've already created a Google Analytics account and website uh, profile, you can just go over to the one you want, choose it, and it will show you this tr UA code right here. So I can just copy that and go back into here and manually enter my code, and now it's entered into the site here and then I can update the settings and it's active. So now when my site opens and public is viewing it, those stats will show up in my Google Analytics account. If you don't already have Google Analytics account set up, just go to google.com slash analytics and set that up and I will put a link in the notes below which will show you how to set that up and set up a new account in Google Analytics. So now that that's done, uh, my links and my site is being tracked already, so you're done. If you want to know more, you can actually look at more settings over here. Um, leave this as default. Tracking code can be placed in the header. If it will track the clicks and out, uh, outbound clicks to other sites and downloads, That'll be checked. This is basically just telling the plugin what exactly to track. If you know what you're doing, you can click on Show Advanced Settings, and then you can actually uh, track other behaviors that people have, categories, tags, and you can actually ignore someone else's or your visits. So if you don't want your own visits to count toward the tracking in Google Analytics, you can just go ahead and ignore all logged in users or ignore administrator since you are one. Or if you don't want that, you can just leave it as ignore no one. And the rest of this I normally leave as its defaults unless you know exactly what you need. I w so I would recommend just leaving the rest of these settings alone. Click on update and you're good to go. Enjoy.